The half-forgotten temple complex dedicated to the cleansing of the high priestess followers. The vertiginous hypostyle hall was believed to hold the weight of the heavens. Stolen from the memories of the plague, the temple was planted in the howling red forest, whose winds eroded its smooth edges. It now stands as a beacon of fear, visible from cardinal points. Now, if you haven't figured it out by now, today we're going to be looking at the Red Forest map of the Temple of Purgation. Before we get into it, however, I do want to let you know that we do stream throughout the week on twitch.tv slash parkless. So if you have any questions about Dead by Daylight, video games, or life in general, come on by, ask away, and we are more than well happy to give you an answer. The answers may not be correct, but we're going to give you one anyway. So... For those who may not know what's going on here exactly, uh, or if you're new to Dead by Daylight, or maybe you haven't seen any of these videos before, every single time, uh, every map has a large pool of totems. When a trial start, the game will randomly select five of these totems and place them throughout the map. You won't know where they are, but what we aim to do here is to show you each and every possible totem spawn location on any specific map. That way you're better equipped to, to try and hunt down the killer's hex totems or the survivor's brand new boon totems so you can go ahead and bless it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and split this video up into several different sections. There's going to be the main, uh, there's going to be the nature section of totems. Those are kind of not really building related, not really jungle gym related, just nature in general trees. There's going to be the jungle gems. Uh, which you'll see on many different maps, but these are specific to this map. There's going to be the ruins. Uh, these ruins are the pieces of building that are all throughout the area, not the main building. Um, and then we'll section on the last one with the main building. That's going to be the items that are always going to be on the map in the exact same place. Uh, that's going to be your temple itself and your killer shack. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the totem spawns on the Red Forest Temple of Purgation. Now this first totem that we're going to look at in the nature series is going to be one of the fallen log totems. The fallen log tile is going to be most notable by the many, many tree stumps due to the deforestation of the Red Forest and of course the fallen logs themselves. Now, this is going to have two to three fallen logs, depending on which tile you're in. This one specifically will have two fallen logs, one of which propped up against a tree stump and a full tree, and the other one propped up against three tree stumps. And the three tree stumps is where your totem is going to be. So keep an eye out and check those corners. Now, here we have another example of the fallen logs nature tile. Uh, this one is more noticeable with the live trees that are around it instead of the tree stumps. Again, you have the two logs that are over on their side, surrounded by several trees and other foliage. Uh, this one can have a gen, a pallet, some other things. Uh, the totem here is gonna actually be between the live trees and the bushes uh, tucked away facing the inside of the tile itself. This one's not too hard to miss. All right, now the next tile we're going to look at should be very familiar to almost everyone who has ever played Dead by Daylight for longer than three minutes. This is going to be the Nature Hill tile. Uh, this one can randomly spawn throughout the map, just like on many other maps. And uh, it has three edges of cliff face that has one side with a ramp that goes straight up to a hook. Usually the hook will always be facing the ramp. The totem here is going to be on that ramp on your right side, Tuck next to some rocks. One of the interesting facts about the Red Forest in general, not just Temple of Purgation, is that there's actually two different types of hills. Uh, this is also seen in the Yamaoka Estate maps. This hill actually has multiple ways to get to the top of the hill, uh, usually one on each side, and then it has two cliff faces. Kind of tight up there, but the totem is pretty easy to spot as it's right up against one of the larger rocks. All right, as we finish with the hill tiles, we're coming to the tree tiles. There's really nothing here except a whole bunch of trees in this next set of tiles. This tile is a little hard to distinguish from the other ones, except for it has a clutch of three trees and a few sets of splitting two trees. The easiest way to find the totem on this one is to go to the center of the tile and you're going to find one of those sets of two trees. One of those trees being very much 
wider than the other one and there's going to be a bush or some foliage right up next to it and tucked in that little corner is going to be your totem all right the next set of tiles we're going to look at are the tree rock tiles uh this tile in particular looks very similar to the tree tile as it has the cluster of three trees and a whole bunch of other trees spread out however now we're starting to introduce rock formations and boulders this one is a little bit sparse there's practically nothing else in here most of the time it's a, it's a huge dead zone uh the totem here is going to be facing the interior of the tile and you're going to notice two trees next to each other one larger than the other both still alive and not cut down and they're just going to be sandwiching this totem continuing in the tree rock tiles this one is actually more distinguishable uh, you may not think so because there's a lot more going on here but that's what makes it distinguishable there's more trees uh the rocks are very specific there's going to be outer rock and then the one central rock which is surrounded by foliage and flanked by two rather large trees sometimes there's going to be a fire barrel which makes it very obvious where the totem is uh the totem is going to be on that centralized rock and like how we said there's going to be a fire barrel sometimes the totem is going to be on the opposite side of the rock from the fire barrel it's going to be sandwiched between the foliage and the tree with the rock at its back so pretty easy one to spot you just might have to go around the tile a few times well the deforestation hasn't fully set in with this next tile as even more trees and foliage appear uh this has a bit more rocks as well a little bit more cluttered this totem is going to be noticeable because there's several bushes, several trees, and a rock clustering this totem uh, facing outside the edge of the tile here. Sometimes there'll be a pallet and give a little bit of a loop. So tucked in this little corner, as behavior likes to do, is going to be a totem hiding. The next one is uh, a lot less cluttered than the last ones we've looked at this is very similar to the trees tile uh, but it's still a tree rock tile uh, however there's much fewer rocks than the rest of them and there's a central tree in the middle now there's a whole not there's not much going on here sometimes there's a gen sometimes there's a hook sometimes there's a chest and sometimes there's a totem so if you're looking for the totem and you find a couple of rocks around some trees go to the center of the tile and uh you're going to see one of the trees and in front of that tree is going to be your totem All right, as we move out of the nature totems and start to get into the gym totems, we're going to or we're going to look at the very first one is going to be the three lane or four lane, depending on who you are and how you call it. This is a very obvious tile as it has three very distinct lanes separated by four walls. These walls can contain windows that can be facing the interior or the exterior of the tile. There will always be a pallet that doesn't have the window. There will always be at least one locker. Uh, sometimes there will be a hook, sometimes a generator. This totem is going to be right next to the locker in the central alleyway between the tile. Continuing on the three lanes is going to be a red forest variation, the three lane locker tile. Now, this is a very interesting and very important tile as the totem here, if this tile spawns, the totem will always be in this tile no matter what. So if you ever find the three lane locker tile on the map, there will always be a totem in the exact same place. It'll be down the aisle with all the lockers up against one of the little edges tucked away in a little corner. This will always be here guaranteed. Keep an eye out. Now the next jungle gym tile we're going to look at, I don't think we've actually settled on a name. I'm calling this one the three lane open gym. So it's kind of like a three lane, except for the central is more open with lower walls in this case they are log piles uh, one wall will have a long wall window another wall will have a pallet and in between is going to be usually a whole bunch of nothing sometimes there's a gen here but the totem is going to be on the long wall window uh, in one of those corners not too hard to miss all right continuing the jungle gym tiles but coming into the more uniform and not so crazy tiles we're going to be looking at one that is very popular, very famous, and you have probably seen this is the very basic jungle gym itself. This will have a pallet on one side of the wall. 
and then kitty corner or diagonally on the other side of the tile is going to be a window there's going to be multiple entrances a locker sometimes a generator sometimes a hook this one where the generator spawns there's a little encasement area and that's where the totem is going to be moving on to the next gym tile is going to be what is arguably the most powerful jungle gym tile in the entire game that's of course talking about the long wall jungle gym this is most notable by having a pallet on one side which is opposite of the jungle gym tile and a long wall on the other side with a window that window is in the center of the wall there can also be hooks and generators here just like on the last one and the totem is actually going to spawn in the exact same place it's right where the generator spawns and in that little u shape now another very famously common jungle gym along with the last ones we've just spoke about is going to be your standard l wall t wall gym so this is most notable by having the tile split up into two parts one is two walls that are perpendicular to form a T and one that is two walls perpendicular to form an L. The interior of the tile is where your totem is going to be. It's going to be on the L wall where two little logs shoot out and encase this totem much like many of the other maps. Now the final gym tile that we're going to look at, I have no idea what to call it. It's kind of a three lane. It's kind of a jungle gym. It's kind of open. It's kind of closed. And to my knowledge, nobody has any real good idea on how to run this tile. If you have a better name for the tile, or if you know how to actually use it, let me know. This is very noticeable because it is unlike any other tile that you've seen, except for maybe one on Ormond. It has two U sections that kind of form to make a central hallway, two, three side hallways, a window, a pallet, couple openings, sometimes a gen. This totem is going to be where the pallet is. Keep going down that hall and you'll find the totem. All right, breaking away from the jungle gym tiles, we're coming into the ruins. Now, ruins look very similar to jungle gyms, except for they are made of stone, tall and short, and have all sorts of stuff in the middle. This one I am calling the short wall crossroads. It kind of looks like a plus sign or an X as a crossroad would for entrances. Um, uh, there's usually a pallet here with a long kind of loop. The totem is going to be on the interior of the tile right next to the pallet. The next ruins tile we're going to look at is another short wall crossroads kind of this kind of has like five entrances. You'll notice that the loop isn't as long as the last one. And this totem is going to be in a slightly different spot. It's going to be opposite where the pallet would spawn. Uh, you'll notice there's going to be some bushes and kind of a right angled wall section here. Uh, that's actually where your totem's going to spawn. Sometimes there'll be a hook, but it's going to be tucked away in a little corner. So keep an eye out. This one might be a little hard to spot. The reason why we designated the last ones as short crossroads as now we have the tall crossroads tile very similar to the short except for the walls have been raised two to two and a half times their size and they're a little bit more put together the totem here is going to be very similar as it's going to be facing the interior of the tile it's going to be up against one of the longer walls usually on the side where the pallet spawns and not the short wall sandwiched in between some bushes and some trees Now this next one i know what you're thinking there aren't any actual ruins here but there was no real good place to put this this is the two lane uh kind of open that you've seen on other maps such as auto haven wreckers uh this has a bunch of log piles split down the middle in like an h formation uh there's always a pallet here and in this case there's going to be a totem on this one kind of easy to miss if you're running through pretty quickly but if you stop for a second you're going to notice that in the center of the tile uh, on the interior wall is going to be your totem up against a tree. This next one is still in the ruins category and it's more of sparse ruins. No, no real assemblage of actual structure, just bits of building all over the place. Uh, you'll notice because usually there's going to be a generator up against the tall wall. It'll have a pillar um, and a lot of other smaller walls around it. On the back side of the tall wall facing the interior of the tile, tile sandwiched between some ruins and some foliage, 
you're going to find your totem here. So if you see a gen, look on the other side of the wall. There might just be a totem. Coming closer to the end of the ruins tile, we have the ruins platform. These are very easy to spot. They are usually in the middle and the back of the map. Uh, it has two large archways, sometimes covered, sometimes not covered, almost always a pallet, sometimes a generator. Well, totem is no different. Sometimes you'll see a totem here and it's going to be on the interior of the tile up against uh, underneath a rock formation of its own. That's pretty easy to spot. So keep an eye out. Now the final ruins totem tile is going to be a another platform that you're going to see more commonly towards the center of the map in front of the temple itself. This one is not covered. It looks a lot more worn down, uh, more vines and moss covering it, more foliage. Has Nature has started to reclaim this a lot more than the last one. Um, you will notice that the totem is very similar to the last one as it is on the interior of the tile itself, usually up against where the pallet will spawn. Tucked in a corner between several large pieces of stone is going to be your totem. All right, as we move into the final section of today's video, we get into the main building tiles. This first one we're going to look at is the ever popular, ever famous, and probably one of the most well-known tiles in the entire game. This is going to be your killer shack. The killer shack, if you don't know what it is, is a square structure that is in almost every single map. It has two door openings, one window opening, a pallet, sometimes a basement, guaranteed two lockers, sometimes a generator, sometimes a chest, and the totem is going to be up against the pallet, just like many of the other maps. All right, now it is time to get to the final set of totems into the Temple of Purgation itself. These totems are actually, there's quite a bit of totems here. Uh, the Temple of Purgation is the namesake of the map. It is quite obvious what it is. It has three floors, an upper, a middle, and a lower. Most of these totems are going to be on your lower floor. These will space between your left and right. And this first one we're going to look at is actually in the very, very back at the Ritual Ring uh, up against the back wall is going to be your first totem. This next one is going to be left if you're facing the front of the temple. Right if you're coming down the stairs, go halfway back. You'll see a broken wall and right there on the back side of it is going to be your next of the lower set of totems. Continuing with the left lower if you're facing or right if you're going down the stairs in the front at the very bottom of the stairs on the right side behind the wall in the corner next to the generator is going to be your very next totem. This next set of totems are going to be right if you're facing the entrance and left if you're coming down from the stairs. Go down the stairs, take a left, and this next totem is going to be all the way in the back up against the right hand wall tucked in a neat little corner is going to be your very next totem. Now, very similar to the last one going down the stairs, take a left, keep following that right wall. It's going to be more toward the back. However, it's going to be slightly more inside. There's a little obtuse shaped angle wall broken off that will be holding your totem. The final totem on the left as you're coming down the stairs is going to be more toward the front middle. So go left and keep following the right wall. And just as you get to your first opening, you're going to find this totem tucked away in a very tiny corner there. All right. Now, before we show the very, very last totem in Red Forest Temple of Purgation, I just want to thank everyone who made it this far in the video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I hope you took something from it. If not, let me know. Leave it down in the comments whether you loved it, you hated it, you want to see more. I should stop doing this because no one cares. Hey, I read them all and I try and comment on everything. And I just want you all to know that you are all awesome for just even being here and taking your time. So I hope you get something from it. If not, I completely understand and look forward to more of these videos in the future, whether you like them or not. Uh, if you like what you saw, a like is always appreciated. And if you want to see more when they came out, make sure you sub to the channel. It really helps out and makes me happy. 
you all know how YouTube works. Anyway, so the final totem in this map in the Temple of Purgation is going to be in the main building, and it's not going to be in the lower or the middle level. This is actually going to be on the third upper level. Go into it uh, from the front, and on the left side, there's a set of staircases that bring you to a drop down and sometimes a window vault. So if no one told you already, we love you all very much. And remember, stay safe out there in the fog.